Here are 14 life-changing experiences you can have in Namibia. Hello besties and welcome to another exciting video. And in today's video, I present to you a new series about Namibian lists, facts and travel guide. Understanding that you now know a few things about Namibia, we have compiled 14 life-changing experiences you can have in Namibia. From the shifting sand dunes, desert adapted wildlife, desolate coastline and barren desert. These are the distinct and unique things about our country. The landscape lent itself to a deep and thought provoking ponder. A visit to this strikingly beautiful country can change your outlook on life forever. And here are 14 reasons why. Commonly known as the Giant's Playground, this surreal landscape of scattered stones, old rock piles, is located near a town of Kitmanswap in the south of the country. It literally looks as if a few giants got together for a stone throwing party. The old looking rock structures are in fact a result of natural forces and weathering over millions of years. This makes for an ideal location for outdoor concert or a great spot for photography. For those who want to play hide and seek in an African wilderness, it's rather easy to lose your bearings in between the imposing rocks. While you are at it, take a moment to reflect on nature and its magnificent abilities. While this may sound quite normal at first, the reality is in fact far from it. Coleman's Corp is referred to as a ghost town in the Namib desert, not far from the fishing town of Luderitz. It was once a thriving diamond hive, and after the gems dried up, the occupants made a hasty retreat, leaving behind an eerie, deserted town. While many of the buildings still remain, some have been damaged by the sands of time, with bits and pieces of the former household thrown across the desert. Take a walk through the abandoned beauty and try out the dry sand bath for its size. Nestled in the rocky slopes of the Fish River Canyon lies the I.I.'s Hot Springs Resort. After a dusty day exploring the desert, nothing beats relaxing in the I.I.'s Therapeutic Hot Springs. Their name means burning water in the Nama language and their thermal properties are believed to be excellent for rheumatism. The natural hot springs are particularly sought after in the winter months. It's a rather awesome feeling sitting in the springs while you allow nature to treat you to some healing as you feast your eyes on the scenic wonderland around you. Although not necessarily life-changing, this is nevertheless intriguing to discover a large number of old vintage cars that lie broken and neglected in the middle of the desert. These old wrecks add an element of twilight zone to the dusty desert landscape and one can spend hours guessing as to how they got there and why they stayed. Some people claim to have spotted bullet holes in them, which makes the mystery even more interesting and thought-provoking. Although scattered throughout the desert, solitaire is one of the best places to ponder for old cars. June 7 is just not awesomely inspiring to look at, but also rates as one of the highest sand dunes in the world. It is taller than the Chard in London and features attractive hues that range from sandy brown to shades of yellow and orange depending on the position of the sun. 
Taking a hike up its peak is a mind-blowing experience and truly unique. If you get to the top, reward yourself with a moment to catch your breath as you take in the epic beauty of Mother Nature. If you are the kind of person who likes extreme adrenaline pumping spots, then Namibia is the place for you. Just be sure to keep hydrated all the time because Namibia is the driest country in sub-Saharan Africa. The Ventuk Railway Station offers a luxurious train that takes visitors on a trip of a lifetime as it rails them in an ultra-modern surrounding with exquisite Namibian upholstered leather interior. While traveling through Namibia's central highlands towards Swakopmund on the Atlantic coast, it makes for a fabulous and unique weekend getaway. While those looking for a longer trip can make a seven-day booking option that includes game drives in the Etosha National Park, rates include accommodation, couches, meals, and selected excursions. Located in the far south of Namibia, the deep ravine that makes up the Fish River Canyon is one of the largest in the world, a fabulously magnificent sight at any time of the day. The canyon takes on a special atmosphere that comes at sunset when the rock glow orange and shimmer against increasing darkening skies. It is a huge tourist attraction, drawing people from all around Africa and the world at large. Various lookout points offer breathtaking views of this natural spectacle that is arguably rated as one of the most inspiring on the planet. The Sun people are one of the oldest tribes in Africa and the original inhabitants of Namibia. They have excellent survival skills, knowledge of indigenous medicinal plants, and they are also masters of the bow and arrow with a deep knowledge of the land which they live on. The Living Museum provides a rare and unique opportunity to learn and interact with this amazing tribe by joining them on traditional hunts, by fashioning bows and arrows, and discovering more about their medicinal plants and uses. Take a break from modern times for a while and return to the basics of nature and learn the true meaning of life. The museum is open 365 days a year from sunrise to sunset. <laughs> The tree that you see here, that is a large fruit combritum. So if you are going down to the root of the large fruit combritum, it is having, it is helping according to the stomach infection. If you have stomach infection, then you can dig the root out, boil it into water, wait it to get cold, and then you can drink it. Often covered in a thick layer of fog, the eerie skeleton coast is littered with misfortune of bygone sailors who met a watery death when running their ships onto the rocks. The making of the film King Kong can be explained as an example of how brutal this coastline is. Watching the scenes where the crew arrived at the mysterious place that seemed to have been frozen in time can provoke those that like mystery to visit the coastline littered in shipwrecks. If you stop for a while to stay out over the foggy sea, 
it's easy to imagine how the old sailing boats could have run aground in such visibility. While the misty lights adds to the haunting feel, even if they got to shore, the sailors would have perished. No water to sustain them and no shelter to hide them from the harsh sun. The vast open spaces over which the country makes Namibia is one of the best stargazing locations in the world. Take a throw and a bottle of wine and share this awesome moment with a significant other as you snuggle under the blanket of the twinkling star. Life-changing events happen during such moments, so this could be an excellent time to pop the question or give her the diamond that rivals the shimmer of the stars. Welcome to the Wild West of Namibia. Officially referred as the Namib Desert Horses, this rare feral breed is the only one of its kind in Africa with the origin that is shrouded in history. They roam on the sparsely vegetated plains of the Namib Desert near the town of Aus and have adapted superbly to their dry, arid surrounding. The horses are fascinating and beautiful sight to behold and their untamed spirit reminds one that anything is possible despite the difficult circumstances. Deadfly is an iconic backdrop to the town of Swakopmund and Wallfish Bay. A strikingly white clay pen surrounded by rich red sand dunes that is home to the forest of the black and dead acacia trees. Due to its unusual beauty, it is one of the most photographed locations in the world and its empty solitude evokes a highly emotive atmosphere. While talking about the town of Swakopmund and Wallfish Bay, let's not forget about the skydives, sandboarding, kayaking, skating, skiing are available for both experienced and non-experienced. This is an opportunity to acquire a skill or two. Who knows, this might very well develop into a talent. As usual, don't forget to support this channel by watching all our videos and dedicated playlists, liking, commenting, and subscribing. This helps us in a huge way. If you have any topics you would like us to cover on Namibia or Africa in general, be sure to leave the suggestion in the comments or hit us up via email in the description box of this video. See you in another one and... Bye, besties.